Hey my lovely bees, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kate or Katie for those that are new. I'm 25, I go by she, her pronouns. I live in South Wales, I'm a cancer. I am diagnosed autistic and I have fibromyalgia, which is a chronic um, illness. So technically I am disabled, but I make all types of content. I like to do hauls, vlogs, um, what I eat in the days, those sort of things. So if you like those videos and you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you like um, my content by liking or commenting. Ask me anything really, I'm very open to talk. You can see the dog's bums and hear them in the background, which is fabulous. But without further ado, I'll get into my video. Hey guys, so I just wanted to talk to you about binge eating really today. Um, it is something I struggle with. I am struggling with it a lot at the moment. My mental health isn't the best. Um, not that you could probably tell through my videos, but it's really not the best. And I cope by binge eating. It's like someone else takes over your body and you don't have any control over what's happening. I Today I have binged. I'm not going to go into detail. Well, I shouldn't go into detail about what I've binged, but... I've had about seven, seven to eight hundred extra calories than I need today, and that was just in packets of crisps, really. Um, I've had about eight. Pa no, I've had about yeah, eight or nine packets of crisps, which isn't good. Um, you don't really enjoy it when you're doing it either. I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy doing it. It's not helping me. I'm. <clears throat> excuse me it's not helping me on my weight loss journey it's not helping me mentally but i just can't seem to stop myself um but being overweight the you try to speak to the doctors about it they're not too bothered they don't care really they just tell you to lose weight which i am trying to do i'm trying to become a healthier me i'm i've been told it could help with my fibromyalgia you know it's i'd be happy to lose weight I've thought about a gastric band, but then it's, it's saving the money to go get one. It's taking the risk of going to Turkey or wherever you want to go for it. And it, and I know there is like, I know it sounds horrible, but obviously with all surgeries, there's a mortality rate. And, and imagine if you, I don't know what I would do. I, well, obviously I'd be dead. I'd be in the stars. So I don't know. I don't know what happens when you die really but I don't think I could put my family through the fact that I had surgery because I wanted something and then I died from that surgery but then in the same breath it's sort of like I'm slowly killing myself by eating myself to death which again isn't good like I'm probably one cake slice away from a heart attack you know which is, isn't nice to think of but and um, well, that's not my point anyways. So binge eating. Um, I am really struggling with it, to be honest. I just can't seem to stop. It's, it's literally like two or three times a week at the moment. Um, obviously, you hide it from people around you. Don't. It's not something you talk openly and honest about. It's... Is something that then leads to restrictive eating. Um, it's just not good, is it? It's not, obviously it's not a positive thing. But I want to lose weight and I want to do it for me. I've been told my fibromyalgia might get easier. and But oh, it's just tough, isn't it? I don't really know the point in this video, to be honest. It's just me rambling, me babbling, me having someone to talk to because, well, I don't have many people to talk to, to be honest. Um, and I know, like, people on the internet are going to see this and you're going to be like, well, if you didn't want anyone to know, why did you tell the internet? Well, I don't know why I'm telling the internet. I just feel comfortable doing so. I don't think I'm going to upload this on a normal upload day. I think I'm going to just put it on a Wednesday or something. Um, obviously, you'll find out when I post it. But if anyone has 
and the advice obviously keep trying at the doctors um, and I suggest you do the same if you're struggling with it as well it's not a very nice thing to go through at all on top of everything I just wish I had some self-control because people are like get self-control you should have self-control control yourself around food oh yes well, it's not just junk food, is it? It isn't. It's strawberries, it's watermelon, it's cheese, it's absolutely everything. Uh, don't buy the stuff. You need to eat food to, to survive. It's not as easy as, oh, I've, I've got a smoking problem. Don't buy fags. Then you've not got them around. You, you, you're not going to be able to get it so easily. You'd have to go to the shops and then you might second guess it all but with food you can't not have that in the house like it's not something you can stop yourself having around you because you need food to eat you go out there's loads of restaurants about like i'm sorry if you can hear stuff in the background dalby's chewing a bone um well i say chewing like grating his teeth on it um it's just something you're always going to be around you go out there's restaurants there's takeaways takeaways is another bad thing with me because because i struggle to cook you know because of being disabled um and it's not even that when i can cook it's intrusive thoughts it's it's just all over the place to be honest but we don't need to go into that um so i struggle to cook so takeaways are an easier option so I have a takeaway or, I'm more, or I cook things in the air fryer and I end up cooking things like turkey dinosaurs and I love turkey dinosaurs but it's just not good as I can fit them into my calories but it's not as good as eating in the meal pack with veggies you know it's it's a nightmare I think I need to go back I think I need to get another blender because we threw it away because it was a bit grotty and um because I didn't think you can wash it with like the electrical bits are can you because well, I don't want to get electrocuted to be honest uh, but anyways that's not my point I think I need to get another blender start do you want a toy do you do you want your pigs in blanket um I think I need to get another blender and start making things like smoothies for breakfast because then I'm packing in veg but then on the other hand packing in veg packing in fruit um but then on the other hand you you don't want to eat too much fruit fruits got calories fruits high in sugars like whoever you ask one person will tell you yes make smoothies another person will tell you no don't make smoothies and sometimes i think like i really enjoy calorie cake because i can eat what i want but sometimes just think should i go back to slimming world because you can eat as much fruit and veg as you want so if i binge on fruit and veg it doesn't matter but obviously if you look at the calories it does matter Things are just complicated and then I think, should I go back to slim fast like you're restricted then you can only have you can only have shakes but then you don't want to be restricted. It's not a good diet. Oh, it's just complicated, isn't it? Like diets are so complicated and I'm not talking about like or oh, weight loss diet, I mean like a lifestyle diet, a normal white in a day diet, like it's just complicated but when i do buy food i do try to buy like the low calorie foods like crisp wise what's it's a monster munch um light and free yogurts because they are nice um i had the sticky toffee ones the other day they were nice they were a lot like a more light toffee yogurt um i got the peach and passion fruit ones at the moment i think didn't think much of the white chocolate ones um i try to use recipes from the pinch numb book like if i'm with jack jack will cook them if i'm with my mum um we have things like fajitas and stuff where it's mainly protein i'll have like one or two wraps and then i'll have like mainly chicken because i like the chicken mix i'll have it with lettuce i like lettuce and i like peppers but it's just I think I need to focus more on like getting protein and veg in and not so much other stuff. So maybe maybe meal planning like prepping food would be a better option for me. I just don't know. I just 
don't know anymore. But on a different note, do you like my new glasses? Here they are. They're from Fumu. They're, um, they're a bit like, I can't really see them too well, like a grey and blacky tortoise print. And then they've got these metal, I don't know what they're called. And then I did get sunglasses as well. Is this the sunglasses ones? Yes. These aren't as cat eye as I thought they were going to be. They're a bit smaller than I wanted. But you can see the reflection in it now. But I'll try them on. I got them mirrored. I did pay a bit extra to have them mirrored. But there they are. Yeah, I think they're a bit small. I think a bigger pair would have been better. But for now, they'll do. Obviously, they'll look better once my face thins out. Because I've got a lot of chub on it. Hopefully. I'm not bothered about thick thighs, you know. I've always had thick thighs. But... I can't wait for my face to thin down, my stomach to thin down, and my arms to thin down. I feel like I'm always going to have bingo wings now, but I am worried once I do lose weight, once I manage to, I'll um, need weight loss surgery, and I'm not looking forward to that. But again, that takes me back to the same thing I was saying about a gastro band, you know, unnecessary surgery, really. But I am trying to lose weight for my wedding and my honeymoon. I want to get to a size like 16, 18 for my wedding. I say my wedding, mine and Jack's wedding. And then for our honeymoon, we're planning on go. Well, we get married in December of this year. And then we're hoping to save up our money and honeymoon in September of next year. I know that's a bit far away from the wedding, nearly a year after. But I'm just playing with the dog's toys in my hands whilst I talk. This is the pigs in blankets they got at Christmas from Pets at Home. Um, that's not the point, is it? But we're planning on honeymooning in September. We're hoping to go somewhere hot, like, which will be hot in September because we don't like going on holiday, like, abroad. June, like, when it gets hot over here from, like, April, May, June, July. May, June, July, August, you know, we don't like going on holiday. In those months because why would you go somewhere hot in those months when we've got the sun over here when it's hot here so we like to go early in the year or later in the year so september i like going really um so I'll probably go somewhere like greece again or jack would like egypt or turkey so we'll just see what's about when it when it when it happens and how much money we've got but We've got different places on our goal list to go on holiday, like America and Dubai, but I don't know, they just don't, they just don't hit me. They just don't, it's just not somewhere I want to go. Like Jack would, did say he'd like to go to um, Germany. Now I would go to Germany, but it would be December for the Christmas markets, because as you all know, I'm cuckoo for Christmas. And um, I absolutely love Christmas, it is, it does, it is, it is definitely intensified by my autism. It is definitely one of those things as well. But um, Christmas is my favourite time of the year, to be honest. But anyways, I think I've rambled on enough. Well, I've still got more to ramble on about, but I bet you don't want to hear me ramble on any longer. But um, yeah, so in all, I'm struggling with being eating. My mental health's not great and i'm cuckoo for christmas and i'm hoping to go on honeymoon and lose weight for it but that is this video if you've stayed to watch it till the end well done you because i have talked about a lot of shit i have just rambled and moaned and i've got pain all over my arm um but yeah thank you for listening to me ramble if you've got any advice please leave it in the in the comments um and maybe we can have a chat but yeah that's it for now and I hope to see you again on my channel soon. Bye.